$1 billion. Welcome to the Blue Yorkville neighborhood of Toronto. Once a hippie hangout where famous folk singers flocked in the 60s, this is now one of Toronto's most elegant shopping and dining areas. The neighborhood features many small courtyards, alleyways, and charming Victorian homes, plus first-class designer boutiques, antique shops, and galleries. A contemporary park located in the very heart of the neighbourhood brings the rural beauty of nature right into Toronto's urban centre. It is the perfect place to people watch and rest between shopping bouts. Did you know that Bloor Street in the Yorkville area is hailed as the Mink Mile as it is home to high-end designers like Chanel, Louis Vuitton and Hermes. Popular restaurants and bars in Yorkville include Sassafras, which is perfect for people watching here on the corner of Bel Air and Cumberland. Casa Moto, known for its signature rooftop patio. Soto Soto, second home to A-list stars. Trattoria Nervosa, with its unmistakable yellow brick building. Cafe Balloud, renowned chef Daniel Balloud's French brasserie. Yosos, a must try upscale Mediterranean seafood restaurant. Sofia, a destination that blends upper tier dining, art and entertainment. Bar Reina, Nikki Labrie's brainchild, this quaint little spot with a hidden back porch. The 180, sitting atop the 51st floor of the Manual Life Center. It boasts the best rooftop views of Toronto and the CN Tower. And of course, Amal, your Phil's newest addition. It's where the Lebanese spirit of Joie de Vivre comes to life. Not to mention Italy, a 50,000 square foot grocery store with sustainably sourced Italian market produce, four Italian restaurants, and a plethora of educational resources. Yorkville is also home to prestigious hotels, including the Hazelton Hotel. The Four Seasons and the Park Height, which is currently under renovation. When it comes to housing, Yorkville boasts good quality housing from restored Victorian homes in flower-filled courtyards to luxury condominiums for stylish urban living. Other amenities of the area include tree-lined streets and beautifully landscaped green spaces. It is one of the most iconic areas of downtown Toronto and home to some of its most desirable properties. So let's talk housing stats. In 2019, the number of units sold was 175. The average sell Selling price for a condominium was 1.24 million, the average selling price for freehold was 3 million and the average days on market was 30 days. As for 2020, the year-to-date available numbers are as follows. Available units 99, the average selling price for a condominium 1.28 million, the average selling price for a townhome 2.72 million, the average selling price for a semi, 2.2 million, and the average selling price for a detached, 10.5 million. When it comes to transit, the neighborhood is easily accessible by subway through the Bloor Danforth line, going east-west along Bloor Street, and the Young University line going north-south along Young Street. 
Both lines connect at the Young and Bloor station in the heart of Yorkville. The most notable construction project in Yorkville, known as The One, is a super tall skyscraper currently under construction, which will be the second tallest building in Canada upon completion at 309 metres and 85 storeys. It is expected to be completed in 2023 by Mizrahi Developments. The total cost of the project is reported to be $1 billion. And right down the street at 90 Blue East, the Marriott Hotel is currently undergoing a $40 million transformation to become Toronto's first W Hotel, officially opening summer 2021. Well, that's a wrap for Yorkville. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.